us lighten the mood, shall we? Madonna celebrating her 65th birthday today. The global superstar still recovering from a bacterial infection as she saw her admitted to intensive care in June. Yesterday, it was announced her tour, which was originally planned to celebrate the 40th anniversary of Madonna's breakout single holiday. It's actually going to kick off now in London. So if you're a Madonna fan, rejoice. October 14th, that's three months after it was originally due to begin in Canada. Now, after these health setbacks, including knee and hip injuries and that infection that left her hospitalised, we want to ask today, should there be perhaps an upper age limit? on performers, or should we just let them keep going all the way they want to? For more, I'm joined by the attorney and commentator, Erin Elmore. Erin, thanks so much. And comedian, James Barr, friend of the show, joining us from Edinburgh, I believe, this evening. Um, James, I'll start with you, seeing as you're there. Uh, I'm personally a fan of Madonna. I think she's a bit of a precursor to Lady Gaga in terms of the way that she's handled some, some political issues and things along the way. She's very inclusive. She's fun to watch. She's had lots of different eras. I mean, I find it hard to find anything to criticize about her oh my god madonna is mother i mean there should be an intelligence limit on people holding harmful debates about people's livelihoods like this debate like you can't ban someone because they're 65 years old by the way it's her birthday what a horrible <laughs> stinking turd of a birthday <laughs> present this conversation is are you suggesting you'd ban springsteen the rolling stones mick jagger this is just such a stupid debate to have <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday madge <laughs> queen madge well let's bring in the other side of things erin uh tell us a little bit about what you think of madonna well, legally speaking, we shouldn't ban anyone for age because that is completely inappropriate. However, Madonna's the queen. She's a Leo. She is still up and kicking at the age of 65, which is unbelievable. But I do think there's something about aging gracefully. She's had a little too much plastic surgery. There's nothing wrong with a nip and a tuck, but you can't nip and tuck your way into an alien life form. The problem is, is I think she has too many people around her that say yes. It's like the emperor's new clothing. Someone has to say, Madonna, you are beautiful the way that you are. Enough is enough. Let's just take a beat, go back on tour. You are the material girl, but right now there is too much material in your face, girl. What, so what would you like to see instead? You'd like her to sort of withdraw all of her injectables, whatever else she's doing, and you just want to see a 65-year-old woman on stage as, as would be represented by a 65-year-old woman? No, I think she should do whatever she wants, but I do think it's gone a little bit crazy, right? I believe in free will. I know that she's a very passionate person and spirit, and she's going to do whatever she wants to Erin, do. Erin, you're, you're contradicting yourself completely. You believe in free will. You're happy with a bit I of do. a nip on a tuck, but an not that much. Like you're, you're, it's, a, it's, a, it's a girl gone wild opinion, in my opinion, to girl say that well, she I can't do, think do what she, she wants should, to do. She can do whatever she wants to do. She's just done oh, too great. much. Oh, great, perfect. So she can carry yeah. on. That's fine. Oh, and I also, I am offended because that's on. my money. That's my money that's gone into Madonna's face. And if she's happy, <laughs> I'm happy. Well, I wish it looked more like money than it did like plastic, but I love your analogy. I would go see Madonna. This isn't as much as a fight as you think it is. I just think she's gone a little too far. Let's take the a problem look. is like it's it's like it's like Piers Morgan just died and no one told us because you sound like you're being haunted by Piers Morgan right now. He's like hacking Who? your thoughts and coming out with all this misogyny. And Erin, honestly, <gasps> I just I'm a misogynist. I'm a woman. How Piers isn't here to no, defend himself? I call Piers a misogynist. <laughs> Piers is not here to defend himself be about being a misogynist. You're channeling Piers misogyny. You're not a misogynist, obviously. Well, oh. Let's look at some of Madonna's <laughs> looks through the eras. Let's quickly get off this topic of peers and look at Madonna through the decades. 1980s, here she was, material girl uh, with her leather gloves and her crimped hair. What else have we got? We got 1990s. This was that famous bra era and the perm, of course, as well. This is now more my decade, 2000s. Don't tell me. Goodness, I love this song. She was wearing the cowboy hat. Of course, 2010s, you had her coming back in leotards and unitards. We were having debates back then about her age. In 2020s, I don't think she cares about us debating about her age. I think she knows it's all good for business, doesn't she? And the fans are still around her. They're still buying tickets. She's one of the most successful recording artists of all time. Is not she having the last laugh, James? Oh my gosh, this, this tour sold out instantly across 35 
shows um, her total live income is about to hit $1.5 billion. Um, and she knows that she is having surgery. She's owning that. She recently posted a picture after the Grammys saying, look how cute I am. Now the swelling's gone down. I mean, we've all had a bit of swelling, haven't we, Erin? <laughs> Absolutely. Without a doubt. I love it. I love a little swelling, but I just think that there is a <laughs> limit. And I think I'm in my 40s, okay? I don't try to dress like a 20-year-old. I think being age appropriate and having decorum, there's nothing wrong with it. Erin, She's a mother of several not? children and as a mother myself, I'd like to set a good example for my child. Erin, I don't know if you've seen the Barbie movie, I watched it at the weekend, but there's this whole scene where she says, this is what being a woman is all about, you know, and it's like, you can be skinny, but not too skinny. You can be old, but not too old. You can be this, but not too that. Do you not think that this is a kind of, that's the trap that poor Madonna's in? Well, I, as a woman, I completely understand that trap. But I, like I said, I just think that she's gone too far. And if she had more people around her, you see this with successful politicians on both sides. You see this with celebrities. Once they have become the top of the top, which Madonna is, they don't have enough people around them that aren't yes people. And I think she hears yes all day. And sometimes she might need to hear no. James, uh, we'll wrap up. Give us Madonna's birthday message. <laughs> How can I give a message to the Queen? The Queen should be giving a message to us. But actually, she does in her song, Volga, where she says, Volga is beautiful. And Erin, I disagree with what you just said. When you're 65, you are going to be dressing as hot as you possibly can because you've got to <laughs> flaunt it, girl. You have Amen to that. I think we can agree to disagree, but we all agree on once. Madonna is Queen, happy birthday to the Leo material girl. Yeah. And Amen. You don't get to wish her happy birthday. A She's not calling you. Amen. She's not calling you. Amen babe. to that. She's not calling you either, my Thank friend. You. <laughs> Thank you, James. Thank you, Erin. <laughs>